Hey guys, welcome again to another video. My name is Stefan Van Vinn and I have a website called FreedomAcademyHQ.com where I help people overcome their shyness and their social anxiety. So today, I want to address a question that I get a lot and, a, and a, I, that I see a lot of comments people saying online when I talk about my videos, when I, I, I talk in my videos and they say, or on forums, that a lot of people talk about this on forums also, it's, and they say, you know, Stefan, you advocate that you need to step outside of your comfort zone to um, overcome your social anxiety, which I do, it's the only way. But um, what do I do if I'm too nervous to start, feel, to start um, overcoming my fears, you know? I'm too nervous to, to even step a little bit outside of my comfort zone. Like, what do you, what do, you do if you're that person? Well, what I'd say to you is basically that that's normal at first, you know. Of course, if you've been having social, a high level of social anxiety for a long amount of time, like I used to have, even stepping, stepping outside of your home is, it's going to be like, practically going to feel like it's, it's as if it's impossible, right? So, if you're that person, what I suggest that you do, okay, instead of trying to proactively go out of your comfort zone and go meet people and go, you know, go to the grocery store or whatever, try to um, quit stuff, okay? So what do I mean by that is basically for a lot of you, if you're watching this video, you might uh, be on prescription medication or you might have an addiction to alcohol because you're, you know, you're always... Um, too nervous socially um, and if you're into one of these two categories because I always advocate in my videos that if you if you want to overcome your social anxiety but you have an addiction like you're addicted to alcohol or uh, some type of other drugs or prescription medication maybe not addicted but you're on them your first step is going to be to stop that okay before you can start going out and meeting new people because that feels really intense, right? The first thing that you need to do is to quit your addiction because if you don't do that, let's say you're, you're addicted to alcohol right now and you know you always need to drink booze before going to a social event or um, during a social event. That is the one thing that is preventing you from feeling better long term, okay? And the trick is that once you quit that, your, your feelings of anxiety are going to go up, you know? And it's basically, you know, if you're too nervous to go outside and, and start proactively facing your fears, even quitting something like prescription medication, your addiction to alcohol, is going to create a lot, a lot of addiction, a lot of uh, anxiety, you know? And that in itself is a form of exposure, okay? Because Anything that you do that is creating anxiety for yourself is a form of exposure, okay? So that's my tip to you. If you're too nervous to go and start doing stuff, start facing your fears, try and figure out something that you could do that you don't need to be around people to do, you know? But a lot of people, you know, they're on prescription medication. If you're on prescription medication right now, and you don't feel ready to go feel to, to go see other people, try quitting that addiction. Because first of all, if you um you, if you're still on those prescription medication when you do decide to face your fears, you're probably gonna just gobble those pills before you do that, and that's kind of gonna be like a crutch. Not much different than drinking alcohol before beforehand. And what happens when you do that is that Instead of learning the, in the proper way that if you were sober but not on medication and you do that, then that would create a lot of benefits. Your, your anxiety would be very high because it's, it's exposure, right? You're exposing yourself to your fears. But when you instill alcohol or prescription medication to that, it's like, it's like a cheat code, right? And you're not actually getting the full benefit of facing your fears. So I would suggest that the first thing, if you're too nervous to, to do certain facing your fears and, and all that, try finding out what you could do, um, to things that you could quit, you know? And so I talked about alcohol, I talked about prescription medication, but 
other things that you could do, let's say um, you do have a high level of social anxiety and uh, maybe you are functioning, you, maybe you have a job or something, because if you're housebound right now and you have a super high level of social anxiety, I mean, um, you know, you're probably on, on medication or on alcohol, but there's not much that you can quit um, that's going to make you feel any better about facing your fears, you know. If you're housebound right now and you're just bombarded with anxiety, all that's left to do for you is basically, you know, you need to start actually facing those fears. It could be just walking out of the house or, you know, and doing that a hundred times until you feel better. So guys, if you want to learn the two things that I've done to overcome my social anxiety, you can click on the first link in the description box below and I'll send you a free training that explains exactly what I've done to overcome my social anxiety. So guys, thanks a lot again for watching my videos and I'll see you in the next video.